Mm -mm. Erica, how's it going? How's the afternoon? Getting these workouts in real quick. Alex, how's it going? Nathaniel, how are you? Diana, hey. Alex, are you already done with this workout? <laughs> Alex asked in advance what the workout was. So today is definitely a sweat session. As you guys always hear me say, usually we start with Mayhem Athlete 30, but today mixed it up for just, uh, you know, Alex asked for a workout, so I'm just bringing him a tough workout today. But if you need awesome daily programming, check out mayamathlete.com. They have a million different tracks you can follow, and they are awesome. Just going to get our workout in here. How are we feeling today, gang? Has anyone done any fitness yet today? Have you all done fitness yet today? <laughs> Cooking crazy. How have we been? We haven't seen you in a while. What's on the menu today? Little bears over there roaming. <laughs> All right, team. So just getting these workouts in real quick and then we will get rocking and rolling. <laughs> oh, Diana, give Grumpy a hug for us. Thanks for taking the time to stop by. All right, we have that done. All right. All right, team, now we're ready. All right, Alex, do you have time for a prehab warm-up today or a, a round of it? So we always start with a prehab or a longevity warm-up, no different today. It's our hanging day, so you know how that goes, but Alex has been patient with me to start the live today. So we are... Going to see here. This is me multitasking. <laughs> oh my gosh. Goulash and corn casserole. Oh my gosh, been crazy. My mom used to make goulash growing up. Bye, Diana. Have a great day. Erica, what do you think of M30 this morning? That sounds fantastic. I'm doing a sun dried tomato chicken polenta tonight cooking crazy. Usually I throw corn in there too. That's what made me think of that. Larry, what's happening? Larry, I asked where you were yesterday. You were MIA. I was going to send some pigeons. Salute. <laughs> All right. 
Let's see here. All right, team, let's get into our, it is hang day and handstand hold day. You guys know when we do that for our prehab or rehab day. I'll probably next week, next week start progressing these uh, prehab longevity warm-ups, starting to throw in a couple other new things. Um, but so far, so good on them. I feel a lot better after doing them. <laughs> it is great. It is like a tomato raisin. They have them in um, olive oil, which is really good. That's what I get from the store. So it's almost like an Italian seasoned sun-dried tomato. They are so tasty. They're really good in almost anything. Willie, good afternoon. How's it going? All right, guys. So you have definitely seen this warm up before, but like I said, we'll start progressing our longevity warm ups um, next week. But we're going to start today. I have a fun one on the agenda. Alex asked for a super hard workout. So the last video. <laughs> Erica, again, what do you think of the Mayhem 30 workout today? So we're going to start with a pretty simple longevity piece that we've been doing. It's ATG split squats, hangs and holds you guys have heard me go on and on about the benefits of hanging for shoulder health so we're going to always be doing that and same detoxifying and strengthening uh and just gymnastics core strength in general from handstand hold against the wall so again we're going to keep incorporating those but also adding a couple other things to mix it up or maybe some endurance type pieces like diana was talking about the other day she did a 15 minute am wrap of 30 seconds on 30 seconds off of the hangs and holds so We'll keep it interesting. This will be the last week of kind of like the, I mean, we've been doing it for a couple months now. Pretty much since the beginning of the year, right? It was before that. So again, this one's pretty standard, but we're going to get into our warm up first. We're going to start with the ATG knees over toes, guys, split squat. That's really, really been helping knee pain over here. So hopefully it's helping you guys too. Then we're going to go into a one minute hang from the bar. And if you don't have a bar, I'm going to show you a variation for that today. And then into a one minute handstand hold. Philbot, how are you? Oh, Larry, how are the eyes doing? Cooking crazy, I love that. Erica said, oh, she liked them 30 day. Hollow hold was the toughest one. I know, hollow hold, nothing like, it's kind of like a plank. Suddenly your whole body shaking and you're like, why am I shaking in a hollow hold? Such a great movement. And again, you've heard me say before, it is the baseline of all gymnastics movements. So it's really, really important to be doing holds. Oh my gosh, Willie, how are you guys doing after all the snow? Did you get snowed in? He said he's relaxing after two hours of snow removal. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, well, I mean, I can give you a sneak peek of the workout today. We, again, blame Alex. Then we'll get into our warm up. Question marks that we're going to see, but the minimal equipment version is going to be oh, let me fix that. Hang. Dumbbell. Hang snap. So, I mean, there's a little bit, like, I'm kind of being nice there. Because otherwise we just do devil's press. You know how that goes. But I figured you guys would be totally burpied out. So, hello, grip. So, we're going to be getting into some uh, double dumbbell hang snatches today. If you need to do single dumbbell, Alex, you can. If you're doing body weight, that is going to be backpack swings or bag swings, just want you to get some sort of pulling in. Also, you could do some sort of banded row if you have a band, but I would definitely do um, a swing of sort of pull is what we're trying to achieve there. Then we're, and it's totally, this is all grippy today. This is gonna be brutal, Alex. <laughs> when I wrote this, I was like, this sounds, oh, ow. This sounds out. I feel like I'm going to regret this in a good way. Uh, then we're going to go into double dumbbell box step overs. And then we're going to go into double dumbbell step back lunges. And we'll have 90 seconds rest in between. And we'll go question mark sets. And if you're doing body weight, it is going to be some backpack swings. Or you can do some banded rows if you have a band. And then you'll go into box step overs. The rep scheme is a little bit different, but we'll get into that. And then just body weight step back lunges. So it will be a party regardless. Oh, Larry, I get that. I get new contacts. <laughs> Eight inches. 
Really, I get that. 150 total bar. What are you talking about, Philip? What did I miss? Are you doing 150 total bar? That sounds fabulous. I did see the, uh, I liked the, um, the compete workouts and whatnot today. Those all look really, really good. Definitely going to get into that later. Oops. All right, let's go back to this warm up and we'll get going. Philip, what's new with you? What's good in Poland? Send us some updates. <laughs> How's fitness? How's the open going? I haven't had any updates. Oh, right, right. Oh, Phil, 100%. Totally. That's mayhem min minimum for Toto Bar and GHD. Phil, completely. Oh, Erica, you totally should. I know cooking crazy is so true. Once you change your uh, prescription with glasses contacts, for sure. <laughs> Alex, you asked for this. I mean, I liked the M30 today, but I wanted it to be terrible. So, alas, here we are. Uh, I don't know what your timeline is, Alex. So, you guys do not skip your prehab, rehab. Uh, we might go through one or two rounds of this, but it is three times three. So, whether you do it before or after the workout is fine. Uh, you can also, like I said, throw in anything else that's going to make you feel good and nice and warm. I know everyone has kind of like a little bit of uh, warm-ups of choice. Usually I like to throw in a machine of sorts or something like that. <laughs> oh, no, no, Alex. You said you were coming to work out, so I was like, oh, perfect. How can I think of the most brutal workout possible? Excellent. <laughs> All right, let's start with our split squats. Really get us started. And Alex, if you want to go through one or two rounds of the prehab, just want to make sure those knees are feeling good, that grip's feeling good. <laughs> But it is a three round requirement of this. However, you need to get it done before or after your workout today. That is your longevity warm up gang. <laughs> uh, right, Philip? Philip, what, is, how, what have you thought of the um, open workout so far? How have they been going for you? Tell me everything. Does your gym do like um, any sort of Friday night lights or anything? All right. Whoop. That is really, we're going strong. No one can stop us, you know? <laughs> All right. So let's start this warm up and we are going to rock and roll. So we're going to start with our ATG split squat. If you don't do these, you should do these. They will make your knees feel infinitely better. I really, really, really like them. As you guys know, I'm still taking that uh, that knees over toes guy. Course. <laughs> Coach's course. And I did these a lot, and it has helped my knees tremendously. So it's the gift that keeps on giving for you guys. Oh, oh my gosh. Well, did anyone PR on that doctor? Hopefully so. And did you do the uh, burpee? Oh. Run or walk. So for your ATV split squat, guys, what we're going to have going on here is we're going to keep that front foot flat and that back heel elevated today. And you're going to, to drive that knee over that front toe and press back. This is definitely a fun direction, guys. So if you're new to this or you're working up for the stability or the strength of this piece, you can hold on to something if you need to. You can grab it in the C plant. You just want to keep that front foot flat, that back heel elevated, and if you need to raise that front foot onto a plate, a block, a step, to get that range of motion without that front foot coming up onto the toes, that's totally fine too. Like I said, you can hang on to something if you need to. But we're going to go eight of these on each side because we are definitely getting into those the legs today. We have the snatches, the step overs, and the lunges. So, Make sure those knees and shins and ankles are nice and warmed up. So once you get eight on that side, you're going to switch to the other foot. Again, your goal is to keep that front foot on the ground flat. And if you need to elevate it, that's completely fine too. My back heel is raised. I'm going to drive that front foot over that toe. And again, if you need support, that's totally fine too. Then we're going to get into our hangs and our holds. 
What are you guys up to for your max paying from the bar crew? I have a good uh, sub for that too. Finally found a sub today. So I'm pretty excited about that. Just in case you don't have a bar, because I totally understand. Phil, so what's your max bar hang? We have to get you in on these uh, prehab warm ups. Keep you healthy forever. All right, guys. So that's eight, eight on each side. Then we're going to go into our bar hang. Do it faster. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's that's fair, Phil. Not a lot of people uh, max their their thruster. <laughs> no, it's a good push. Oh my gosh. All right, guys. So bar hang. You've heard me say it many, many times, but this is great for overall shoulder health keeps from any impingements from happening and just opens up those shoulder girdles there's a lot of uh research behind why this helps keep your shoulders healthy so again you've heard me say jump up to that bar i want you to think about squeezing those scaps together just to activate those shoulders core is going to be nice and tight and similar to the hollow hold erica that you guys did in m30 now have those toes slightly in front of me so my scaps are squeezed hanging like so and if you feel like your grip is gone today, it means like you, you could be a little tired today. So definitely pay attention. Your grip strength is a great indication of how prepared you are for fitness. Thank you, Larry, because she is. She's getting somebody. Who knows? Heck, yes, 90 plus seconds, Philip. That's amazing. Gosh, you guys are so great at hanging. All right, guys, if you do not have a bar to hang from, you can Here's another option. So if you have something, a ledge, anything, we're gonna open up that shoulder by simply placing your hands on that ledge, letting that, walking your feet back and letting that head drop through that window. So you're gonna be opening up those shoulders that way, just letting that head fall through. And furthermore, if you have something you can grab onto, like a post or a railing, of some sort, you can grab on with two hands and let that head fall through, and then you can lean slightly to the right, slight bend in the left, and you'll feel that that opening up of that shoulder. So, if you don't have a bar to hang from, you can you can do the um, what shall we name this? The the bench ledge dangle hang, <laughs> whatever you'd like to call it, the hinge. <laughs> I feel the power of those bar muscle ups going. Oh my God. All right, crew. Hang, hang time. Ha 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 ha. All right. Now we're going into our one minute hang and then our one minute handstand hold. Oh, this is a. The stressed out pop. Lots meaning lots of uh, it has the milliseconds. All right, so starting that one minute hold in not just yet in a moment, Alex. No skipping your holds. Yes, Willie. Heck yes. Well free to have at home, Willie. I dig it. Although Willie, we feel like we need to add some extra for you. Okay, beginning our A. So we're shooting for a minute. If a minute is too much. You can accumulate a minute. We're doing three sets of max hold. Again, I have those shoulders a little bit awake by squeezing those scaps. My toes are slightly in front. And then you just hang on for your left game. We got this. Nice job, guys. Oh, 90 seconds plus. Was it just one time max, or did you do that multiple times? Nice job, guys. Ten seconds. You can do that decompression of that spine, too. Yeah. So many benefits for the hang. You just got to love it. All right, team. Willie, how are those handstand holds going? Now we're going to go into our handstand hold and 
Again, I know you guys have heard this, but I want you to think about active shoulders, pressing those hands against the ground and not arching that back, keeping that core tight and looking straight back and not down on your handstand hold. So let's jump into our one minute hold. Rock and roll time. For your handstands, Willie. <laughs> you don't want to put your feet on your wall? <laughs> I get that. Willie, you should, for your handstand hold, then you should do a minute plank and then uh, 30 seconds to a minute on the right, meaning side plank, 30 seconds to a minute on the left. Give you bonus homework. All right, guys, so that handstand hold, remember, think press against the ground as you kick up. And we're going to start in three, two, one. Again, you have the, uh, the pump spine benefits of inversion here too, which is super beneficial. And if you can, you want to be looking back, back down, pinching that neck. Nice job, guys. Good, Alex. Good, Willie. Great job, gang. 15 seconds. get into round two here like i said even if you have to do it after your workout i want three rounds total today if you guys can make that happen we're going to start discussing our workout after this next round try to be sympathetic to alex because i know he wants to go for a bike ride but again make sure you get the three done today <laughs> really i get that or you have your weight vest willie you could do um minute plank with your weight vest on <laughs> there you go, Willie. Your homework is to do this prehab because I know Willie's very experienced and he has done this before. If you have your weight vest handy, Willie, throw your weight vest on for your ATG squats and your plank holds. Do you have a place to hang, Willie? Or you can do the hinge as well. All right, we're going to get into round two and then I'm going to start explaining this workout. But don't skip your three rounds total. I'm going to do my final round after as my post tab just so that we can get this going so alex can go on his bike ride nice willie always stepping it up willie you're becoming the expert of prehab i'm i love it phil are you feeling healthy these days eric are you feeling good gang all right guys back to our just check in with everyone well larry can see now so that's always good all right crew so again front foot flat Back heel elevated, we're going to drive that front knee over those toes, trying to keep that front foot on the ground. And feel free to elevate that if you need that to get deeper into that squat. I just can't even believe how much better this has made my knees feel. In ankles. So we have eight of these total on each side. And okay, so this will have our knees and ankles nice and warm for the step ups and those lunges. All right, so, so right side, front foot down a little bit, come here, but back heel elevated, drive that knee over the toes. Great job, guys. We have eight total. Everybody's like, Amazon, how dare you? How dare you deliver packages in a timely manner? <laughs> it's okay, buddy. And last one here. And eight. 
We're going to get to our minute hold. And uh, like you heard me say, that's awesome, America. I'm happy to hear you feeling better. <laughs> Oh, that's awesome, Willie. Even a spot to hang home. Like I said, guys, if you don't have a place to hang or you're new to hanging, you can put those hands on a shelf, bench, whatever you have, and let that head drop through. And a step up from that is if you have a post or a railing or a stairwell, you can grab onto something, lean into that right side and that left side, getting that opening of that shoulders and that upper spine. All right, let's get into this hang. Alex, and we're gonna go over this workout in three, two, one. Remember, slight squeeze those scaps, go slightly forward, and tell each other story. <laughs> oh, there, someone is making noise on the Great job, guys. So, accumulate a minute and hang or hang for a minute, or if you're feeling great, lay in, and when you re-watch this, multiple minutes, you got this. I think she's up to the two-ish minute range. It's amazing. Great job, guys. Nice job, Alex. Nice job, Willie. We're going to do one minute hands and hold up to this. We'll get to our workouts. Like I said, guys, don't forget, three rounds. Willie, I know you can do this in a weight vest. Eight seconds. Three, two, one. Erica, did you write down your plans for the week? For the the mental freedom? All right, cool. Crew, let's get into our handstand hold. Remember, press, press, press. Keep that core tight. We don't have that back arched, and we're going to be looking through that window and not at the floor, then we'll get into this workout. Let's go team. Starting in three, two, one. Hands down a hole. When you hear me do core tighter guys, that just means don't arch your back basically. Great job. Like I said, one of my favorite benefits of this, as well as the strengthening pieces, it really does give your body a good flush clean upside down. Great job, in 10 seconds. Start going over this workout. Don't skip your three rounds. Oh, good, Erica. That's awesome. We talked yesterday about ways to de stress. And sometimes when you have a lot on your plate and you're just always thinking about the next thing, writing everything down and just taking it day by day can be helpful and make you feel better. So that's what Erica did. And she said she feels refreshed today. That makes me so happy, Erica. Heck yeah, girl. That's awesome. Thanks for bringing that up and sharing that yesterday. That was really, really helpful. All right, guys, let's talk about this workout. We are going to go over the body weight version first. Alex, are you still intact here? Willie, are you still doing your prehab? Keep it going. You got this. I'm trying to set this clock, but it has different ideas. <laughs> All right, so for our body weight version today, we are doing question mark sets. We are just going to see how this goes. But, yeah, we're do a back roll. If you have a backpack, you can grab a backpack or any sort of bag that you have. Once you get that swinging, pulling motion today, backpacks work great too because it's not going to fly out. 
but I load that thing up with things that you have around the house, or plates, or weights, or maybe you just have a kettlebell and you want to grab a kettlebell. But it is essentially going to be just like your kettlebell swing. I'm assuming you're going to have a bag that's zipped so you can go to eye level, but I will weigh that thing up. Like you said, you can use a kettlebell or a dumbbell for that, but I just want you to have a body weight version if you want to do total body weight today. So it will be 12 swings. Load that puppy up. I know you have heavy objects around the house. <laughs> and then you're going to go into 12 swings, 10 box step overs, 12 step back lunges. And then you're going to rest 90 seconds. And we're going to do that many times, <laughs> potentially. So I'll go over those movements the step overs and the step back lunges here when we discuss our minimal version. So, so I just want you to have a body weight version available so everyone can hang out. It'd be a large fitness party, you know? So our minimal version today, gang. <laughs> so well, this is gonna be an interesting one, Alex. I know, I, the hangs are tough. I find them very challenging, personally. All right, guys, so. All right, so again, question mark sets for Alex asked for it. So the Mayhem Athlete 30 looked awesome today, but we decided on a sweat session today. So question mark sets for double dumbbell hang snatch. These are brutal <laughs> in a good way. Then we're going to go into eight double dumbbell box step overs. You're going to have those in a farmer's carry style dumbbell by your sides. If that is too much, Like if, if your grip is just absolutely, yes, Willie. High fives, Willie, great job. Did you do the side planks? Heck yes, Erica. If, the, if your grip is just wrecked today or you're preparing for the open and this is just, you're thinking, oh my gosh, this is so much grip, you can sub the double farmer's carry style holding of the dumbbells over that box to a single dumbbell on a shoulder step up. That way it's not completely overwhelming or if you're trying to preserve your grip. Then we're going to go into 12 double dumbbell step back lunges. Okay, Willie, you did your, you did your planks uh, with your feet elevated. Yes. Well done. I'm proud of you for doing your prehab even on your snow day. <laughs> so let's see what this looks like real quickly. Your grip is feeling a little bit warm from our, our hangs, our prehab. So you're going to bring those dumbbells to the hang position, and you're going to snatch them overhead, locking out overhead. I do use a little bit of that hip hinge as a swing, but I still try to keep those dumbbells nice and close to the body gang. So you'll have four double dumbbell snatches. Erica, I would, I mean, definitely just, you can cut down the weight on the, on the um, dumbbell. I would say a double dumbbell snatches. I mean, it's, they're <laughs> massive, massive. Two is, is huge. That would be like, I feel like 35s on the double dumbbell snatches would be like some sort of RX plus version, if that makes sense. I think anywhere from 15 to 25 would be more appropriate for like, to be considered RX for everybody. If I had 25s, I would probably do those. I mean, we can if you want to. If you guys want core after. <laughs> so then you're going to go into from your hang snatches. Like I said, I mean, 15, 25s are not completely reasonable for this workout. So I'm gonna keep moving because we're probably gonna do a lot of sets. So then you're going to grab those dumbbells. You're going to go into your 
box. Step overs. Again, be careful on these guys. If you're not used to doing two dumbbells, you can do a single dumbbell or you can just step over. So the body weight version is just going to be just like that. Step over. You're almost like a lateral step using that sort of box, guys. So you don't have to extend those hips at the top for the step over. <laughs> Fair. So quick tutorial on that, guys. If you are doing the step ups, I would do a one, two, step down, one, two, step down. It's almost like a lateral step over. If you don't have a space or time for that, or maybe you're just using the counter step, you can simply do a box step up. The difference is with a box step up, you're extending the hips on the top. If you're doing a box step over, you can stay lower on top of that box. And again, we're going to do a lot of sets. So pick weights that are appropriate that you can keep moving. And again, if that's too much stress on knees, ankles, anything with two dumbbells, Grab one dumbbell or just drop the dumbbells and do the step over his body weight. Completely ex <laughs> acceptable. And also, if you don't want to do them laterally or you don't have the, the space, as I mentioned, you can grab a single dumbbell or just body weight and just do step ups onto that box as well. So you have some options. Definitely want to keep that body feeling good. So don't do anything that triggers any aches and pains in those knees and those ankles and it's going to get grippy from the hang snatches to the step overs so give yourself some grace there <laughs> question mark sets well alex first things first how's your shoulder feeling i honestly would i mean i think 35 50 when it's double dumbbells with the snatches would be an rx plus to me i would say 40 pounds would be 35, 35 to 40 would be, you know, if you're going to do three sets, Alex, that's one thing, but if we're in it for the long haul, but that's just because you want to keep it moving. And, it, you know, you know how I love to program workouts that compound on one another. This is that. This is all going to be grippy and challenging. So also if you're preparing for the open this week and you don't want something that's super tough on taco tuesday then <laughs> you can adjust as needed i'm gonna do 35s alex it's what i have i'm just gonna try to hang out with your leg so you saw the double dumbbell hang snatches or your 12 swings then we have our box step overs or box step ups whatever is suitable for where you're at whether it's your garage gym regular gym or your home and then we're going to go into our double dumbbell step back lunges. So I'm going to try to give my grip a little bit of rest here and rest these dumbbells. I like to set them on the shoulders like so. And then we're going to move into the step back lunges. Again, if two dumbbells is just too overwhelming for you today or this week, you are more than welcome to rest one dumbbell on the shoulder and step back lunge like so, or do body weight just like so, minus that dumbbell. So, try to be kind and give you guys all the options in the world, gang. <laughs> well, Alex, you can adjust as needed too. If you need to switch to single dumbbell, which I know you don't need to because you're super fit, and I know you can do double this whole time, but if your grip is fried, Alex, or you're doing the open at the end of the week, <laughs> or there's just a lot going on, you can go single dumbbell too. Again, we're gonna do we're gonna do a minimum of four sets, maximum of eight sets. So keep that in mind. I'll give you a a hint on that. And Willie, Erica, hopefully you guys get to do this at some point too. 
So again, I'd run through a couple more reps of each thing, whether you're doing the body weight or the minimal equipment. Just remember, body weight's a little bit different of a rep scheme. For minimal, we have four double dumbbell hang snatch. Body weight would be 12 backpack kettlebell swings. Then we're going to move into eight double dumbbell box stepovers. Again, you can drop that to single, or you can just do 10 body weight box stepovers. Remember, you don't have to extend those hips if you're doing stepovers. You are extending those hips if you're doing step ups. Then you're going to finish with 12 step back lunges total. And if you're doing the minimal equipment, you're going to throw those dumbbells up. <laughs> four reps, Alex, Ha! Huh? Hey, it's only four snatches. Heck yes, Erica. Oh, girl, I love it. She's going to be in. Well, you can help us decide, Alex, I, I know. Willie, chirp, chirp. Alex, I get that. Well, I mean, Alex, then why don't you do the 30s for the hang snatches and then grab the 50s for the step overs and the step back lunges? That would be appropriate. But I, then I would tell you to do six. <laughs> if you're doing lighter weight, then you get more reps <laughs> because I know that you are fit. That's why. Really great job on the prehab, by the way. I love that you're always getting it done. And I love how we put up a brutal workout and Erica's like, I have everything packed, I'm ready. <laughs> I love it, Erica. <laughs> it makes my heart happy. <laughs> oh, Larry, Larry, you're the best. <laughs> so relatable on the vision too, Larry. Oh, told, I just, like my contact company just sent me a letter. They're like, you can get your eyes checked. I'm like, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> well, Alex, I gave you more reps. It's fair. And also, I mean, that is, I, I get that that is, uh, it's really, that just stinks <laughs> in a good way, but you know, it, they're heavier, but I get how they are a little more awkward to his point. As the dumbbells get heavier, they're larger. So there is, you know, there's that <laughs> interaction. Uh, Erica, we're going to shoot between four and eight. I mean, I, I, it could be brutal. So by could, I mean, I think it is going to be. I programmed it to be brutal. So we're going to just see how it goes. <laughs> All right, team. Any questions on this move, on these moves, like body weight or minimal? I know I gave you a lot of options today, guys. So do not be afraid if two dumbbells is too much for you to go to one dumbbell or to go to step ups. Like I said, my big goal is I want your body to be feeling good for a long time. Then what is happening? It's been forever. How are you? Are you doing the open? So I want you guys to be doing this for a long time and feeling good doing it. So do whatever you need to do. Then we miss you. Good grief. Hopefully you're, I know you're crushing the open. All right, Alex, give me the thumbs up. Yes, 12 lunges total, so it's basically six each leg. So we have four double dumbbell hang snatches, eight double dumbbell box stepovers. Again, you can drop either of those to single if you need to, and then 12 double dumbbell step back lunges. Again, you can shift this workout to a single dumbbell if you want, but just make sure you do an even amount of sets so you can do all reps on the one side, all reps on the other side, you know. Yes, alternating, Alex. Good question. All right, team. Rock and roll time. Then hope things are well. Bears down there eating a bug. Alex, we got this. Woo, question mark sets. All right, team. Erica, you're going to crush this, too. You could you help us decide how many rounds. Alex, you can be the observer. <laughs> and Larry, and Willie, and the team. <laughs> Everyone knows. <laughs> All right. Well, we're just happy to have you stop by. You got to stop by more. We miss you. All right, guys, 10 seconds. This is just, we have 90 seconds rest, so we'll be reunited soon. 10 seconds, starting with four double dumbbell, hang snatch, eight step overs, 12 lunges. In two, one. All right, Alex. Grip City, here we come. Four hang snatches or 12 swings, guys. Yeah. <laughs> 
and four. You guys can do quick rest on that grip if you need to. And we have eight step overs. <laughs> Remember guys, you don't have to extend the hips on the step overs, but if you're doing step ups, you do. Let's see. I might have done extra on those guys. You know, chatting. 12 lunges, you got this Alex. Nice job guys. Four snatches, eight step overs. 12 lunges. Let's go, gang. Nice job, guys. Ten, two more. Come on, Alex. Eleven. Game. Twelve. Just about one fifty. So ninety seconds rest. Two fifty go at three twenty. So, guys, these are meant to be sprints. So, I'm trying to get you to hang on to those dumbbells if you're doing the dumbbells and move very quickly, especially if you're doing the body weight. Because you're getting a full 90 seconds rest here. So, again, pick movements here that you can move efficiently, whether it be double dumbbell or single dumbbell. Be smart. Don't do anything if historically step ups and things, if it causes you any pain uh, with weights, definitely drop down to body weight. Nice job, Alex. Woof. JC. JC in the house. How are we? What's good, JC? We have a fun one on the agenda today. It's super grippy. I feel it already. <laughs> Alex, one sit down. Erica, Willie, one sit down. Larry, one sit down. 30 seconds here, Alex, and then we are going round two. Oh, I know, Alex. I have to get my rhythm down on box step overs. I overthink which foot goes first sometimes. It happens to, to everyone, I'm guessing. I hope at some point. <laughs> no, I hope you guys have it down pat. <laughs> 10 seconds here, but again, feel free to do step ups if you just, if you don't have space or if those feel too awkward for you. Five seconds, guys. Starting with four hang snatches, then we're going eight step overs and 12 step overs. Oops, I'm a couple seconds behind here. About 10 seconds behind. So two, one, four dumbbell hang snatches. Three and four. You just sprints, guys, so try and hang on. You got this. Eight step overs. Nice job. Quick shake up. 12 lunges. Set number two. We got it. Come on. Let's go, Alex. Nice job, guys. 12 step back lunges. On these, you do want to extend those hips completely at the top. Nice shot, guys. That's 10, two more. 11, and 12, that's five, 10. So 90 seconds rest, 
610, going on 640. Nice job, guys. Totally, Alex. I feel super wobbly on the step overs, but I know it's something I need to work on. And I like the double grippy combo. <laughs> you ask for a hard sweat session today, you'll get it. You ask and you receive, you shall receive. <laughs> so we're going here at 640, so going one minute from now. Nice job, Alex. But again, they're meant to be a sprint, so try to hang on from those snatches to those step overs if you can, guys. Get, you get a whole 90 seconds rest after each, so it's a hang on for dear life. Thanks, Erica. <laughs> JC, is this a bur JC, are you doing this? Heck yeah. Oh, this is a total burner. <laughs> my grip, my shoulders already, Alex. I don't know about you, because even the isometric hold of the, uh, the step back lunges all by design. Thank you. Oh, uh, that's a great question. What did the first set take? 150, I think, Erica? So probably between 45 and 50. JC, heck yes. Let me know how it goes. 10 seconds, guys. Let's go, Alex, starting set number three. JC, you got this. Let's go, Alex. Come on in three, two, one, four, Dumbbell hang snatches, and again, guys, you can go single too if you need to. And four. Eight step overs, guys. It's a sprint. Try to hang on to those dumbbells. Four outs. Keep them primed for your bike rider. And eight. Twelve step back lunges. High drop in the dumbbells. Shake it out. The shoulders ready. Twelve lunges. Come on, guys. Relax that grip on the top of those dumbbells if you can. Make sure you center those hips. Come on, Alex. Nice job, guys. And 12, that's 825, 925, so we're going at 955. JC, Erica, Will, you guys are going to crush this one. Diana, you're going to crush this one. Same, Alex, same. I'm taking a quick rest from grip between the step overs and the lunges. And it also gets that heart rate nice and high. Nice and high. <laughs> we got this. Say 9.55. Thanks, Erica. Next set is number four, Alex. How are we feeling? Checking in on, on question mark sets. Willie, JC, Erica, Diana, you guys are going to crush this one. We have about 40 seconds. Roof. <laughs> Alex, my heart rate is through the tooth. <laughs> your tooth. Like your teeth. Your tooth. Heart rate is through the roof. <laughs> Thank you, James. Crushing it, Alex. We got this. We have 20 seconds. Erica, Alex, Willie, Larry. Crew, how many rounds are we thinking? All right, 10 seconds, Alex. We are starting round four. We're starting our minimal, minimum round number here. Starting round four in three, two, one. Four double dumbbell snatches, let's go. And four. Right into those eight step overs, guys. Hang on. I 
Oh, that grip's getting tired. You got this. Come on, Alex. Let's go. Come on, Drew. That's seven. One more here. And eight. Let's go, Alex. Come on. Put press those dumbbells. Moving on to our 12 step back lunges. Now, by you, I'm feeling it. Grip, shoulders, legs. Come on. Keep moving. 12 lunges. We got this. Remember, all the way up on those lunges. Come on. Let's go, guys. That's eight. Four more. Crush it, guys. And 12, 11, 42. So 11, 12, 12, 42, 52, 12, 12. Come on, 13, 12. Thank you, Larry. I dig it, Erica. Alex, Larry, Willie, what do you guys think? We're four in so far. Erica says six. It's brutal because it's a sprint and you have to, we're trying to hang on to those dumbbells. Each round it's getting a little uh, more, you know. Oh, nice. Erica, look at that. I love it. Erica doing the uh, the math and the the reps. Erica, we need you or Willie to do the rep math for us. What would uh, six rounds be? I don't usually do it until after the workout, but we have the best crew. So, thanks, James. Alex, you got this. So you hit the wall, perfect. Two more rounds. That's it. We won't do eight. We'll do six, like Erica suggested. Love it. Erica, long time uh, veteran. So fours. Or is when it gets super tough. Alex says he hits the wall. That means you can do two more, Alex. Come on. We're going again in 15 seconds. Come on. That's okay, Alex. Fight through the next two. If you have to put the dumbbells down, you have to put the dumbbells down. We're getting fitter now. Once you're at that point, you know you're getting fitter in this workout. Come on. Last two sets, starting in three, two, one. Four double dumbbell snatches. Come on, guys. Get fitter today. You got this. Eight step overs. Come on, gang. We got this. Break 12 step back lunges. Only one more set after this one. We got it. Come on. Hang on. Quick break. Quick breaks where you need them, Alex. Come on. 12 step back lunges. Let's go, guys. We are almost there. Let's go. Right, Jake, come on, guys. Come on, Alex. Keep pushing. We got it. And, well, 15.04, 16.04. It's 16.34. Be our last set. Come on, guys. Oh, yes. 
Come on, when you hit the wall, keep going. Let's go. Every day is a good opportunity to uh, work on our health, guys. We got this. You guys can get through this. I know you can. <laughs> Alex, you didn't you didn't pay her off before it started. Would have been five dollars well spent. Just kidding. I know you want to do six. Erica, great call on that. Erica with the time domains and everything. I love it. It's gonna be around a you know 18 to 20-ish minute set. So Alex said he hit a wall the round before last. So we did two more. We got this. We got it, gang. We have about 20 seconds starting our last round here. Alex, push through. The bike's calling your name. Come on. Last set. You asked for a good one today? This is a good one. Hello, grip, leg, shoulders, everything. Five seconds, Alex. Last set. Come on. Four double dumbbell snatch in three, two, one. Starting set number six here, guys. You got a final set, final push. Let's go. And four, no matter what set you're on, just hang on, guys. I know you can do it. Come on. Let's go. Eight step over here. You got it. Let's go. Hang on. I'm wobbling too. Let's go. Come on, guys. You got this. Let's go. Hang on. breaks if you need them. Come on. I know that grip's tired. I know those legs are tired. You got this. Let's go. Last 12. Come on, guys. Get through this set. Come on, Alex. Push through. You got it. Hang on. Come on. Final set. You can do this. Almost there. Keep pushing. Come on. I promise you'll feel better after. Let's go. Come on, guys. Almost there. Here we go. Let's go. 18 minutes on the dot. Erica, wow. Big call on that. Thank you, Willie. Alex, amazing job. Heck yes, we did it. Six rounds. We did six sets, 90 seconds rest after each set. Eight double dumbbell snatch or 12 backpack swings. Then we did eight box step overs with the dumbbells or 10 if you're doing body weight. And then we did 12 Double dumbbell step back lunges or 12 body weight step back lunges. Again, you guys can use one dumbbell here if two is too many. If you still want to do a minimal version, this is a good one. It gets grippy. Feeling your shoulders and your legs here, guys. That's what we wanted. Full body sesh. We did some sprints because we got that 90 second rest there. It's really just a hold on for dear life workout. <laughs> Alex, you asked for it. <laughs> Great job, guys. Willie and Erica and Larry, you guys, thank you for all of the support. You guys are awesome. Diane, I know you're going to crush this. JC, I know you're going to crush this. Erica, you as well. Willie, back pocket workout, you know, when you need it. <laughs> Little Bear says you guys got this. And, I mean, there's only one thing to do. When it gets hard, just keep going. <laughs> Amazing job, guys. Erica, this is a good one. But like I said, guys, just be really aware. I'm just hypersensitive about knees and shoulders and everything. <laughs> hey, shoulder, you know, and that song. <laughs> um, and, you know, I'm here to try to make you guys feel better. So if you have any pain on those step-ups, you can drop to, I mean, the step-overs, you can move to step-ups or maybe go a smaller box or just do body weight. But just remember, it can be a little bit interesting how you choose to step up on that box. I like to point my toe towards the corner of the box and step up 
and over from there. Some people step wide, step up, step down, meaning you're aiming for the corner, the opposite corner of the box, up and down, but it just really depends on what works for you because that shuffling can be tough on your knees or your ankles, so I'm telling you guys to be aware of it. And if that's too complicated, especially with dumbbells, just stick to a step up where you're stepping up, extending the tip to the top and stepping down. And you can also do that variation with your dumbbells. But if you've done step overs before, you feel comfortable doing so, then have at it. They're great. <laughs> but I want you guys, priority is to stay feeling really, really good while doing all of this. So you guys know, that's why we do so much prehab. <laughs> Thank you, Larry. <laughs> Alex, it was like music to my ears when you say you hit the wall. I'm like, I love it. It means we're working hard <laughs> in a good way. It hurts during it, but it's so much better afterwards. <laughs> Alex, I appreciate the push today and you being willing to work out and being willing to do a sweat session. Alex asked for a sweat session. Well, he could have said M30, but wanted to make sure you got a brutal workout today. Good brutal. <laughs> <clears throat> so guys again just be super aware on those step overs make sure you get lots of reps of those in beforehand <clears throat> the double dumbbell snatch again you can do double or single and step back lunges <clears throat> excuse me same idea you can do double dumbbell or single you just have workout options today we love options <clears throat> <clears throat> And Alex, nicely done picking the uh, the super heavy dumbbells. See, that's totally like RX plus. High fives. <laughs> you held them? Oh my gosh. Wow. Now you get RX plus, plus, plus. Alex did farmer carry style grip on the step back lunges, which would definitely crush that grip even more. That was my only reprieve, Alex, was setting them on the shoulders. But if it's too hard to get them to the shoulders, you guys could do front rack or you could do farmer style carry on those lunges, but just take note, this is grippy. <laughs> you guys know. All right, crew, that was awesome. Don't skip your prehab and your rehab today. You guys just absolutely destroyed it today. Erica, I know you're going to destroy it today. I know, so grippy, it's all grippy. Well, I'm super proud of you guys. Really proud of you for doing the prehab, keeping it going. Give me posts on how everyone's feeling, mentally, physically. Like Erica yesterday brought a good point in, helping us to plan out our weeks and get this done. So you can stay focused on the task at hand each day. That relieved a little mental stress. We also relieve some physical stress by getting these workouts done, at least I do. And it makes me so much so happy to do them with you guys because you guys are awesome. Erica, let us know how it goes. Keep us posted. We'll be patiently waiting. Alex, I hope you have an awesome bike ride if you're still going biking. Willie, thanks for taking the time today. Glad that you stayed safe in the snowstorm. Nice work on the prehab. Erica, keep us posted. Alex, let us know if you bike. Larry, thank you for taking the time to come hang out with us. Hopefully the new glass is working fabulous or is coming in soon. <laughs> you guys are amazing. <laughs> yes, Alex. I'll, I'll sit down and think about it this evening. I'll get back to you on that. I know there's lots of stuff. I just have to sit and think, you know. <laughs> All right, crew. Alex, Erica, Willie, Larry, crew, you guys are amazing. Thank you for taking the time today. Happy fitnessing today. And I will be back to do some fitness with you tomorrow. Hope you guys have an awesome day.